he, obviously the game plan for Joshua was to not be put in that situation. And obviously he fought very safe fights to not be put in that situation. But, but all I'm saying is uh, a fighter who showed up a little bit more prepared today would have been able to take advantage of Joshua's overcommitment to the movement and maybe, maybe put him in, put him in some more difficulty in some spots and touch him more in some spots. And maybe we'll see just how much confidence there was in Joshua to resist another assault in those spots. Then when he beats a Wilder or Fury, I, to right, me personally, right. I, I don't even think he should be Ortiz. Right now, time. right now, um, I think that's more of a conversation. Wilder and Fury are kind of in a league of their own right now in the heavyweight division. Um, I think they're kind of uh, head and shoulders now. I think it's, more, it's starting to become more of a separation, I would say, you know, uh, between Wilder and Fury and then the rest of the pack. Um, and it's kind of scary because what happens when these guys fight each other? You know, do they just have to keep fighting each other because nobody compares? I don't know, you know? Um, but um, right now, I would say yeah, Wilder uh, and Fury both uh, are Wilder and Fury both are, are uh, a step ahead of uh, Joshua at least. Uh, I think more so the comparison again is Ortiz and Joshua. You know, it's a fight you'll never see because they're on two different sides of the street. But but the Ortiz and Joshua comparison is probably more of a, a, real, of a realistic uh, comparison. Do you think we'll, we'll, we'll see a unification fight in 2020? No, I don't. Paulie, was this more, um, you might have answered this already, but was this more of AJ winning or Ruiz letting himself down? Mm. You have to compare it to AJ. The game plan was smart. It was just, it was a, it was a little bit of confidence in the missing in the way he executed it. The game plan was the right game plan. But the, the confidence missing is almost forgivable because he was knocked out six months ago by this guy. So he was slanting more towards safety first than slanting more towards winning and, 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 and trying to execute it in a, in, a, in a manner where he looks good, you know? Yeah. I think it was just more of a win here and look good next time. Yeah. And it's almost forgivable because, hey, you got to give him credit for going right after the rematch right away. Yeah. And also, you got to keep in mind, for everybody that's criticizing this guy right now, how many of you picked him to lose the rematch? You know you're out there. A lot of you have picked him to lose the rematch. So you can't now say that, oh, he won, but I didn't think he did this good. I didn't think he did this No, he won. He already proved you wrong just by winning. Mm -hmm. just, by, just by winning, you didn't think he could win. So mm -hmm. I just... But... Me, I picked him to win the fight. So I feel like I have more right to say, okay, he won the fight. But I would have liked to see a little bit more confidence in the way he was moving. I thought his movement was, was the right plan. But I would have liked to see it in a bit more confident manner, you know. Been able to shoot some more offensive, be, be able to be more dangerous offensively. Because let's face it, Joshua has the kind of power to be dangerous offensively. But he was so much on the back foot a lot of times. He was so much committed to getting out more so than doing damage that it never, it never, it never det deterred Ruiz's aggression. It may have flustered him, the movement, but it didn't deter him. And part of the reason it was flustered wasn't just because of the movement, but also because he came in like a fat tub of shit and, 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 he, and he ruined his chances of closing the gap the right way. You know what I mean? Because, because a better fighter or a more prepared fighter, let's say, because I can't say Ruiz is not a good fighter, a more prepared fighter may have been able to take advantage of the overcommitment to the movement that Joshua had, you know? Um, but he, Ruiz wasn't able to. Um, and so that's the result he gets. Were you impressed that AJ was able to maintain his stamina for 12 rounds? Hey man, I, I think once you saw him come in that light, I think you kind of you kind of got the the hint that this guy is here for the long haul. You know, this yeah. guy this guy didn't show up to blow through him, and he, this guy didn't show up angry that he got knocked out the first time, and, yeah. and looking to blow through this guy because he knocked him out the first time. Right. This guy showed up with a with an intent to go into the rounds and uh, and uh, maybe even go late in the fight, you know? Yeah. I mean, once I saw his, um, the way he was leaned, leaned out like that, I, I thought, okay, this guy, this guy sees the fight in his mind going to some rounds, and obviously that's the way it went. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they're gonna have to be very careful in, in moving AJ from here, but like, is there a fight that you would want to see, or would you want to move him a certain way? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's it's uh, it's interesting because I think he needs some more confidence building for yeah. sure. You know, um, he didn't look like the confident guy that I've seen. I, I, I think AJ's greatest night was a push bonnet, You know, where even if he was down, it didn't matter. You know, yeah. what I mean, like that was that, that was a, that was a tiger on the hunt. You know, yeah. what I mean, he was though he was a champion. He was still in that hunt mode. You know, where he was looking to take everybody out. You know, I saw a guy today who. And again, I can't say it's criticism because I picked them to win the fight. But I saw a guy today who, who figured, let me just get the W. Mm -hmm. I'm making 85 million. Let me get the W so that these kind of paydays keep are guaranteed to keep coming in. Because mm -hmm. if I just have the belts, it doesn't matter how I look. I just mm -hmm. have to have these belts. Yeah. And so it started once you start thinking about that, you know, you're 
the doubt is in your mind already because you're thinking you're not th going you're not thinking of consuming your opponent you're thinking about okay let me just make sure i get out of this with in one piece you know right. and so you we, we need to see the joshua that wanted to consume his opponents again we need to see the joshua that wanted to get in there look across the ring and knew he was going to consume you and, and just take you out of there you know yeah. like that's the joshua we want to see for some fighters that guy never comes back you know but sometimes it does we'll see my guess is just as good as anybody else's whether that guy's going to come back again or not you know but in the meantime he's a heavyweight champion proved a lot of people wrong and in, 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 in that a lot of people picked him to lose his fight and uh and we'll see where it goes from here i mean he proved me wrong i'll admit that but my last question to you about this is are you interested in a part three like they were talking about you know i don't know man you know like based off this fight maybe it's not a lot of interest in part three but you know what Rui's got one joshua got one you know now it's Rui's just trying to make the adjustments yeah. you know did, did, did Joshua really deserve a rematch the way he got hammered in the first fight? You know, but he got it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he was on the contract and he got it. So, so you know, uh, now Rui's really looked like he didn't really deserve a rematch after this fight. But you know what? Maybe he'll show up in the third fight and come a little bit more prepared. Listen, we know Rui can do it if he's prepared. You know, yeah. I mean, we've seen what he can do. We've seen the quality that he is. He just, he just has to stay away from the fridge, bro. You know what I mean? Like, the, <laughs> you know, like, it, it, do you want to be great or do you want to be, uh, um, uh, you know, do you want to be, do you want to just eat? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's up to, it's up to you. You know, like, so we'll see. Uh, but I, I don't have the biggest problem making a third fight. I don't. Okay. Paul, how do you compare Deontay Wilder's last fight, his performance, and Anthony Joshua's? Because everyone remembers the knockout but they don't remember the rounds yeah yeah that. there was you know, i mean Wilder, there's something to criticize with wilder but wilder was always in a bit more control you know what i mean like if wilder had fought like joshua and overcommitted too much to movement the way the way what joshua did today i think he would have got knocked out by ortiz you know wilder may have been losing the rounds but you can see there was a confident demeanor in wilder's body language even throughout the round like like he almost I'm not going to tell you he knew he was going to get his man, but it's almost looking at him. I remember watching the fight and thinking, he's not flustered at all. Like, he's not winning these rounds, but he's so calm right now, like 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 a real vet, you know? So, like, so and, and it's almost like, it left you curious, like, what is going to happen? Is he going to make the adjustment? Does he plan on making an adjustment? He didn't have to make an adjustment. He knocked him the fuck out, you know? Well, you know, for me, the body language was really telling in that, you know? And, 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 and that's where I, I still feel like, you know, Joshua, he may have been winning the rounds, but the body language told me there was a little bit of a panic still. Nervous, you know, yeah. like, it was a nervous, like, okay, I got to get through these rounds. I just got to get through these three minutes. Okay, let me just get through the next three minutes. Okay, now let me get through the next three minutes, you know? You don't have the guy that, like I said earlier, wanted to just consume his opponents and, 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 and just, you know, take them out on a blade of glory and a blaze of fire you know like now you had this guy who just wanted to get through the 12 rounds and and, and just get his titles back so he you know so he could keep a certain status yeah. and so he get a certain paycheck and and you need to have that that fire in you you need to fight to win instead of fighting to not lose otherwise event is only a matter of time before you get taken out but we'll see he's only six months out from being knocked out so maybe this is just a confidence builder